Hey guys, Sarah here. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I have been recording little videos of the baby snakes hatching this year and posting them to TikTok. And then I thought you guys on YouTube might like to see them too. So just remember that all of these are going to be vertical. And I know that it's a little bit like awkward to watch a vertical, you know, screen on a horizontal screen or whatever. But um, I thought you guys might like it. If you do want to see these the day that they're posted, check me out on TikTok. If you don't have a TikTok or don't want to get one, don't worry. I will have eventually post the videos here um, but some of the videos that are posted on TikTok are not going to be posted here uh, I actually ended up deleting some on accident and um, most of them aren't really that important you'll get the gist for sure uh, so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end thanks for watching here's a quick sneak update these eggs are exactly at 60 days today I don't know if you can tell or not, but that one in the middle there is a little dimpled, and that's actually a good thing. That means that they're getting close to hatching, so I expect them to be hatching just about any day, uh, maybe in about a week or less. Baby snake update! I told you guys it was going to be any day. Uh, clutch number 74 is on is hatching right now. Obviously, two of them uh, are pipping, and the rest are probably going to come within the next 24 to 48 hours. Both of these are ultra thought you guys might want to see what a setup for a baby corn snake looks like, at least for a breeder, for a lot of breeders anyway. These are just food prep containers that I have put holes in, and there's a moist paper towel in there with uh, a little water bowl, which right now is just a cap. A quick update on the most recently clutch that started hatching, the first clutch of the year. Uh, it's very interesting to me. They're not all uh, completely out yet, obviously, but it's really interesting that this was supposed to be an A-mail to an ultra mill. Um, and I think that I'm seeing only ultra males in here, which is really strange odds if that's the case. Um, this one at the bottom here might be an AML, and if that's the case, that's that's fine, that's great. Um, but if all of these are ultra male types, which so far it looks like they might be, um, the mom might be an ultra instead of an ultra male, which is um, really weird, but possible. So I'll keep in touch as everybody starts coming out. Okay, just making another update for you guys with this clutch. It looks like most of them are breathing now. I think all of them are breathing. Uh, and we have one reverse Okatee, uh, Amelinus, it coming out. Um, the rest of them might be Ultramel types, which is super weird. Um, normally, when I breed Amel to Ultramel, it's about a 50 50 split uh, between Amel types and Ultramel types. But it uh, looks like we have one Amel, and the rest of them are all looking kind of dark. So. Um, yeah, we have our one reverse Okatee, and everybody else is going to be either an Ultramel Anery Okatee or an Ultramel Okatee. Um, there's a couple more that I haven't really seen the noses of, so maybe we'll get a Snow Okatee. I'm not sure, but uh, I will keep everybody informed as more keep coming out. Here's just a really interesting difference between two Ultramel Anerys that came out. This one up here at the top is so much lighter in color and has that really weird head pattern in comparison to this one here. It's much darker, so uh, I look forward to see what they look like. Alright, it's the next day, and this is the last baby to come out. This one's not all the way out yet, but it's definitely got an attitude. <laughs> it always seems this way. The last ones that come out are the ones that want to eat you. Yes, I see you. Yes, you are a feisty. Yes, yes, I know. You're big and scary. Well, after this one comes all the way out of the egg, we'll uh, put all of them in their enclosures. Actually, most of them are already in their enclosures. All these eggs are empty, except for this one. So, um... Yeah, after they're all out, we'll get all of their enclosures and we'll sex them and we will uh, do another update. So the final count on this clutch is one Amel, two Ultramels, and six Ultramel Anneries like this little one right here. We're also really female heavy. There's only two or three males and all the rest are female from what I can tell right now. So just to summarize for the very first clutch, I was actually really surprised that I got the outcome that I got. Uh, having mostly ultra male anneries when I didn't even know the mom was het annery was pretty crazy. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with that clutch. It is kind of odd that there was only one AML type. Uh, when, I, when they were first coming out, I was afraid that there weren't going to be any AML types at all. And I thought maybe the mom was an ultra, but she's not. We got an AML type. She's an ultra male. And I think I might actually keep her. I originally was not going to keep her if she didn't have any other uh, genetic potential, but now that she does, I think I might keep her. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite and what you're looking forward to the most with the next clutch. The next clutch is going to be the green blotched to halo. Uh, please subscribe and like this video and share it uh, with anybody who you think might also like it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.